Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Go Westy installation video. This is John and today I'm going to show you how to install an aftermarket stereo into your van. As always for safety, please disconnect your battery before beginning any electrical work in your vehicle. To remove the stock stereo, you're going to need a set of the factory release keys. These keys fit into the holes on the sides of the stereo face. Slide them in and apply pressure outwards to disengage the locking tabs shown here. Gently pull the stereo out of the dash and unplug the connections. If you have a stock Hirschman antenna, you will most likely have a plug that looks like this, which will not fit a modern stereo. We do offer adapters online, part number VWAB, as well as two models of direct replacement antennas with a new style plug, found simply by searching antenna on our website. Also check out both product pages for a walkthrough on how to install one. Next, I use a wiring harness adapter. This is a very clean and simple way to wire in a new style stereo and assure no stock wiring will be butchered or damaged. You can check out an in-depth video of how this is wired on the products page of our site, GoSD part number VW01B. With the adapter connected to the new stereo's harness, plug in the stock harnesses from the van to the adapter. The factory stereo of a van didn't utilize a signal wire. This is a red wire found on most newer aftermarket stereos. For this wire, we specifically designed a custom wired switch found under part number radio-toggle on our site. Go check out the product page for a description of exactly how it works and a walkthrough of how to install it. I've also waited to connect the yellow constant power wires of the harness adapter until now. I crimp the wire of the stereo harness into one end and use heat to shrink the casing. The yellow wire from the harness needs to be connected in the other side. However, if you are installing a radio toggle switch, I strongly suggest joining the yellow wire from the switch with this wire at this junction for a little cleaner connection. If you remove the ashtray, you can see a VED support bar coming from the dash. Some stereos had a support bar on the back that would utilize this bar. However, many modern stereos no longer have this support, and this bar can often interfere with the stereo being able to fully seat into the dash. If the latter is the case, a simple way to relieve the problem is to bend it at each arm in the center, and then simply push it back up into the dashboard. Your new stereo should come with an outer cage, which has angular cutouts of different shapes and sizes along all four walls. Thread the harness and antenna plug through the cage, insert the cage into the dash opening, and bend the tabs towards the edge of the cage to lock it into the dash. Next, plug the harness and the antenna into the stereo and seat the stereo into the cage. Snap off any trim rings or faceplates and you're off to the races. 